Cisco Firepower Network Analysis Policy determines how much deep a traffic must be pre-processed and decoded before traffic is inspected by access control and IPS policy. Some features like data loss detection or port scan detection require deep traffic pre-processing. Network analysis policy occurs after security intelligence and SSL decryption, but before access control and intrusion policy begins. There is a default network analysis policy activated based on balanced security and connectivity inspection. Depending on if security or performance is more important to you, you can choose security over connectivity or connectivity over security or balanced security and connectivity, which is default. Another option is maximum detection of which traffic is decoded the deepest. After choosing your default network policy, you can change the options according to your needs as we will make changes in the next video. Notice that IPS policy and network analysis policy are different. However, the options seem to be the same. Network analysis policy determines which part of traffic must be decoded. Then it is inspected and matched with IPS signatures according to your IPS policy. To add network analysis policy, go to policies, intrusion, and then network analysis policies tab, and then create policy. To see how traffic is decoded differently, I create two network analysis policies. One based on balanced security and connectivity, and the other based on maximum detection. Then I compare between these two policies. The first one, NAP balance, based on balanced security and connectivity, save. and the other based on NAP maximum detection. And then save. And then compare between these two policies between balance and max this is based on balance and this is based on maximum detection. As you can see in balance, security and connectivity, there are many options which are disabled or ignored, but they are enabled and activated in maximum detection. There are many options that they are activated in maximum detection, but they are not activated in balance, security and connectivity. So, as you have seen, in maximum detection, you will decode the most part of the packets to be inspected by access control policy or IPS policy. And then back. Normally, I should configure a snort version 3, but since the setting that I need for the next video, sensitive data detection, is still not exist in SNORT version 3. I configure SNORT version 2 settings of network analysis policy based on balanced security and connectivity. These are the features that can be enabled or disabled. As an example, to implement sensitive data detection that will be configured in the next video, we need to enable FTP and Telnet configuration, FTP and Telnet configuration, which is by default enabled. Your changes are shown here. You can Enable FDD and Telnet configuration. IP defragmentation. Defragmentation. And TCP stream. This is TCP 
stream. These are three options that I have enabled. By default, they are also enabled in balance security and connectivity network analysis policy, but by default, they are inherited from the parent policy, but I've explicitly enabled these options to make sure that I can configure sensitive data detection in the next video. For each of these settings, for example, FTP and Telnet configuration, there are a few parameters that can be adjusted, but parameters are advanced settings that must not be manipulated unless there is sufficient knowledge. And then commit changes. Okay. As I have mentioned earlier, default network analysis policy is based on balance, security, and connectivity. To change it to your own customized network analysis policy, which is NAP balance, we have to go to policies, access control, edit, and then advance. Here, network analysis and intrusion policy. The set option is default network analysis policy, which is balance security and connectivity. I'll change it to my own customized network analysis policy, which is not balanced. And then, okay. And then save. Notice that network analysis policy is configured globally and not per access control rule. So our global network analysis policy, the default is NAP balance. And then we have to apply our changes. I've activated network analysis policy because you need them for some features like what I will configure in the next video, sensitive data detection. So this video is dedicated to enabling network analysis policy.